Hi, today we'll be making shrimp marinara. So to begin, you want to get a large pot and fill it up with some water and bring that to a boil. But while that's coming up to a boil, you wanna add some salt to your pasta water. And in doing so, this will help flavor your pasta and help it absorb the other flavors that we'll have when we make our marinara sauce. So in this case, to make this a bit healthier, we'll be using whole wheat pasta. And you just wanna follow the instructions that are on the box. So in our case, with whole wheat pasta, that takes a little bit longer to make. So for al dente pasta, which means to the bite, we'll boil that for about seven minutes until it's tender. So we'll just take our pasta and pour it in. We'll just gently lay that in there. And as it comes to boil, it'll soften up. But you may wanna grab some tongs to push it in. Now that our pasta water is going for about seven minutes, we'll just stir it occasionally until it's ready to go, and then we'll drain it when it's ready. So once uh, you drain your pasta, we're gonna put it into a bowl, and you want some olive oil, and you just want to drizzle that over your pasta just to prevent the pasta from sticking. And you wanna take your tongs and just Mix everything up that way. The oil covers as much pasta as possible. Now once you've done that, you can move your pasta to the side. And now we're going to cook our shrimp. So now you wanna grab a large skillet and you wanna put that up onto medium to high heat. And while you do that, pour some oil or butter, whichever one you prefer, and you just put that in your pan. Now there are a few ways we can tell that our pan is hot and ready for us to begin cooking. So you can either put your hand just quickly over the pot, and you can kind of tell when it's hot enough. Or in this case, if you were to take the pan and swirl the oil around, you'll begin to see some ripples. And from there, you'll be able to tell when it's hot enough. Or, in another case, you could take just a splash of water and throw that in there, and once you hear that sizzle, you know it's hot enough. Okay, we have some ripples going. So what we'll do first is cook our shrimp. So you can just take your pound of shrimp and pour that in there. You can start to hear that sizzle, so it's definitely hot enough. And We'll take some salt and sprinkle that over the shrimp. And we'll cook the shrimp about a minute to two minutes on each side. And then you can flip it over. And as you're cooking your shrimp, you'll, you'll notice that it goes from translucent to a bright pink color. So once it gets there, you can start to flip them over. So we'll take this shrimp right here. You can see that it's starting to turn pink, which means that side is ready. Now instead of flipping them over one by one, you can kind of do a flip in your pan. Now in this case, since our shrimp is mostly done, We'll take it out now because we're going to add the shrimp back into our marinara sauce and it will continue to cook once it's in the sauce. So what we'll do now is take our shrimp and we'll start to take them out. So don't worry about if it's not 100% all the way cooked through as we'll cook them more later. And I'm taking these out this way because we want to leave the juice from the shrimp in the pan. So our shrimp is out, and what we're going to do now, see we still have some juice and oil here, so now we're gonna throw in some onions and just saute, saute those until they're translucent. And this takes a few minutes, so you can just give it an occasional stir. 
and just let it cook. Now you may notice that the onions turn from that dark purple color to this lighter lavender color, which means that they're becoming translucent. So in this case, we can now go ahead and add our marinara sauce. Excuse me, rather, crushed tomatoes to make the marinara sauce. And we'll turn the heat down that way you don't overcook anything. And we'll just give that a stir. You see, as the crushed tomatoes are cooking with the onions that we added, we'll just let that cook over time. But what we want to do now is add our mixture of oregano, onion powder, and garlic powder to help season our food. Add some salt. And go, go ahead and be light with the salt as you can always add salt later once you taste it. Make sure it's not too salty or if it needs more, you can, of course you can add more. And just mix that all together. And then you're going to add about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And just stir everything together. And you want to have this on a medium low heat, that way nothing burns or overcooks, and stir occasionally. And then this is going to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. So in the meantime, while you're doing that, what we're going to do now is cut up some basil. So we just need about eight to 10 leaves and just cut them off the stem. And what we're going to do here is just a rough chop. You can take your basil and just drop it right on into your sauce. Stir that in. And then we'll let this simmer for about 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. So now we'll go back to our sauce. And what we're going to do now is add our shrimp. Just pour all that back in there. And mix the shrimp into our sauce. And we'll just let that all simmer together for about a minute or two. But in the meantime, since we're going to plate up soon, we want to grab some basil. Just a few sprigs, we don't need all, a whole bunch. Cut them off the stem like we did before, or just pluck them either way. And we're just going to roughly chop them up and this will just serve as our garnish once we're plating. We'll put this to the side. Now what we want to do before we plate up is taste our sauce to make sure it doesn't need any more salt or anything else we may need to add. Just taste that. Careful, it is very hot. Hmm, that's delicious. <laughs> All right, so now what we'll do now is grab our bowl that we're gonna serve the pasta in. And what we want to do, grab some tongs, take our pasta, we don't need too much, just a nice serving amount. In this case, we'll use a ladle, that way we can get the sauce up. And we 
we'll just pour it right on top of our pasta. Then we'll take some Parmesan cheese for garnish. And if you're like me, extra cheese. Some basil. And there we have it, shrimp marinara.